A crisis in Afghanistan. The Taliban now has control of the entire country, unraveling more than 20 years of a U.S. military presence, one that cost more than $80 billion and left hundreds of thousands of people stranded. An unexpected and unsettling sight. Taliban leaders and fighters seated at the presidential palace in the Afghanistan capital of Kabul. A takeover not expected for a month happened within days. This sent world leaders on edge, while Taliban authorities say this was always the will of the people. We are not voting because we have the support of the people of Afghanistan. So I think uh, legit legitimacy and integration is our right. Afghanistan's president fled the country just hours before the takeover, calling it a move to avoid bloodshed. But this leaves hundreds of thousands of Afghans in fear of what happens next. Women are already seen wearing burqas, a Taliban requirement 20 years ago. We are talking about millions of Afghans who are uh, or sitting in panic, they, 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 they do not have an option to leave the country, they do not have an option to leave their villages or, or their cities. Meanwhile, helicopters fly over the U.S. Embassy, evacuating staff after they destroyed documents and lowered the American flag. Today's evacuations are being compared to this scene during the Vietnam War more than 40 years ago at the American Embassy in Saigon. It's a comparison not welcomed by the Biden administration. I have to tell you that uh, the inability of Afghan security forces uh, to defend their country uh, has played a, a very uh, powerful role in what we've seen over the last, uh, the last few weeks. The fact is we invested. Uh, the international community invested over 20 years, billions of dollars in these forces, 300,000 of them, uh, with an air force, something the Taliban uh, didn't have, with the most modern, uh, sophisticated equipment. And unfortunately, uh, tragically, they have not been able uh, to defend the country. 1,000 more U.S. troops will be sent to the country, bringing the total number of American military service members to 6,000. A former army ranger who served two tours in Afghanistan worries about the future for his fellow soldiers. I think we're going to be back, and I hate that. Now, those 6,000 troops will secure the perimeter of the airport. They are expecting hundreds of Afghans to rush the airfield. Meantime, Several Republicans were very critical of the White House, including Texas Congressman Michael McCall, who said President Biden has blood on his hands.